May is a really big month across Indiana, not just from what's going on in the community, but from a weather standpoint. We've got a bunch of daylight gains headed here right to Indiana. This is actually our last full month of daylight gains. This is what it looks like across the country. The farther north you go, the bigger the daylight gains are going to be. And every one of these color bands shows you at least how much daylight you're going to gain from May 1st to May 31st. So in Indiana, we're in that 50 minute category. So for Indianapolis, 52 more minutes of daylight coming your way. You go farther north to South Bend, we're just under an hour. Once you get close to the Ohio River Valley though, then we're talking about more in that 40 minute range. But that's just another almost hour of daylight coming your way. And with that extra daylight, our sunsets, of course, getting even later. By the end of the month, we're gonna have a sunset 906. So nine o'clock sunsets are on the way in Indiana starting this month. That's just daylight. Let's talk a little bit about winter weather because we're still kind of, we still have some cool days. We're still trying to get out of the cooler season and head into summer. But when we're taking a look at snowfall, does it snow in Indiana in May? We look through some of the data. It has snowed before, but it is very rare. There's about a 5% chance of any kind of snow showers taking place here in central Indiana. So it's very rare. The last two times that we've had a little bit of snow in the past 40 years here in Indianapolis, 2014, and then 1989. The biggest snowfall that we ever had was back in the 1800s. That's where we got almost two and a half inches of snow in May. Generally, our last snows are in April. So May, most of the time, is okay. But we still ever can once in a while get maybe a frost or freeze still in the month of May. Generally, we've got warmer temperatures. We go from the 60s, generally, on the start of the month, to the upper 70s by the end of the month, getting close to 80 degrees. This is just an average. So we're going to have several days that are much warmer than that. And we could have some days that are going to be a little bit colder than this is 69 degrees. The coldest we've ever reached any time in May was 27 degrees. The hottest we've ever had in May, 96 degrees, just shy of 100. Hundreds usually take place once we get towards June and July if we can get them. Speaking of how much warmer we get, just a hole across the country, we've got this kind of table here showing you different states and how much they warm up. We're in this kind of medium red color, so we gain, you know, 9 to 10 uh, degrees of warmth throughout the month. The farther north and towards the plains you get, the, the more warmth you get throughout the month of May. Just the plains are able to heat up faster than the rest of the country. Speaking of the warmer weather, with warmer weather you get severe weather. This is taking a look at the tornado threats across the whole country and Indiana. For the month of May, it is still prime severe weather season in the central plains. But what we notice this time of year are these warm fronts that lift on through. That's why you kind of see this nose of some reds coming into Indiana. May is our third biggest tornado month. We've got April, then June, and then May's kind of sandwiched in between. But we're in this three month period where we generally get tornadoes here in Indiana. Specifically, the highest chance of a tornado is in western Indiana. Once you get west of Crawfordsville, you're headed towards Danville with Indi uh, Illinois. That's the highest chance of tornadoes. So a lot of things going on in May. We are warming up. The snow chances go down quite a bit, but we got warmer weather. We've got more daylight. This is the last full month of daylight gains for the whole year, starting in June, especially June 21st. We start losing that daylight once again. So enjoy about another hour coming your way.